if I think about the first five and a half months at HiUb, I, I'm uh, really excited about um, how uh, our customers love the products that we uh, we uh, provide to the marketplace, the loyalty they have for the business, um, their enthusiasm around how important it is for us to continue to get better and better on the service side of the business, um, and and really the push that I've seen from some of our larger customers for us to move faster and faster. Uh, in terms of, I think then internally within HIAB, uh, I think obviously with the um, the Global Quality Award that we um, uh, were awarded in the in the loader crane part of the business, tells me from a quality perspective together with the customer view that we're well positioned in that regard. So I think product for performance and quality are uh, are exceptional. Uh, in terms of the people that we have at HIAB, we've got four thousand enthusiastic, uh, engaged, and committed people to make this a better business. So uh, so I feel really good about where we're starting from. Uh, on the other hand, there are some things that we can get better at. You know, I think as we um, move from, uh, move really to a more of a continuous improvement culture than perhaps what we've been in the past couple of years represents tremendous opportunities for us. Um, and I think we've got a real opportunity as a business to uh, demonstrate to all of our associates out there that uh, Cargo Tech and HIAB represents uh, the best possible experience as uh, as an employee or as an associate of the company, as compared to other options that are out there. So, uh, so excited, uh, of course, concerned over uh, the development of the performance and the underlying operational issues that we have in the business. But I, I feel pretty confident that, uh, that that we know how to go address those and, and improve the business and still take advantage of very favorable market uh, conditions that we're uh, lucky enough to experience now. Number one priority is to uh, ensure that we've got to focus on continuing to improve our engagement uh, and, uh, and leadership climates um, that we experience both on an individual as well as a team basis. Coming back to that uh, associate experience, I think it's just so important that, uh, that everyone feels that we're quite focused on uh, ensuring we've got the best uh, experience, best environment possible for the team. Uh, two, uh, our pr priority is clear that we need to get better and better in the services part of our business, which really drives the customer experience. And the better customer experience that we offer, which is core to our strategy, then the more interesting both our, uh, our top line and earnings become. And it makes us a, a much more sustainably uh, high-performing company from a financial perspective, which is key to us being able to continue to invest in the business. And then three, you know, to get better um, fundamentally at de delivering on all aspects of the operations of our business, whether it's safety, whether it's in our supply chain, uh, or whether it's in our uh, sales and service and, and, and R&D processes. Yeah, I'll come back again to uh, best company to work for, uh, opportunities in terms of growing our core offering, mostly in services, you know, really thinking about the business outside in. So if you think about what a customer experiences, it really is that life cycle service is what they're experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis. A transaction of the equipment happens once. Of course, it needs to be high quality. Uh, but then in terms of really delivering on our promise of lowest total cost of ownership, availability, uptime, and driving uh, higher and higher um, repurchase rates and driving down to zero uh, attrition rates, or in other words, when you lose customers, is absolutely uh, key um, for us in terms of uh, being world class on the services side of our business. So that's best short term and best long term opportunity for us is services. So. Uh, getting better and better at, uh, at uh, exploiting our install base. In addition to services, then I'd say, of course, um, well connected there is our emerging digital capability. So there's no question that if you think about the, uh, the trends and the, and the drivers around productivity and how do we get uh, significant improvements in terms of productivity because our customers are experiencing a much more uh, increasingly competitive environment. So every 1%, 2%, productivity gains that we can give them uh, will translate into significant opportunities for us to grow the business. Uh, and then similarly, if we can provide equipment that's smarter more, more uh, or easier to use, help uh, relieve some of the, the need and pressure on uh, decreasing skilled labor market, 
that most of our customers are experiencing, rep experiencing represents uh, another great opportunity for us.